Hey guys, you are most welcome again on my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Wordsworth's theory of poetry. We will be talking about what Wordsworth thinks about poetry. Guys, thank you so much for your visit to our family. We need your support and love. Please press subscribe button and bell icon. It's totally free. Good luck for your exams. And as uh, I can tell you that whatever a poet thinks about something, that becomes a theory about that thing. Okay. जो भी एक पॉइंट किसी चीज के बारे में सोचता है वो उसकी थ्योरी बन जाती है तो इसी तरह से हम वर्ड के बारे में देखेंगे यू कैन सी ऑन दिस डायग्राम लाइक ऑब्जेक्ट देन पॉइंट सेंसरी एक्सपीरियंस इमोशन मेमोरी रिकलेक्शन इन ट्रिक्वालिटी किंडर्ड इमोशन पोएम रीडर एंड अगेन इमोशन सो वट वर्ड ट्राइंग टू से इज दैट वेन अ पॉइंट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट He gets some sensory experience. एक पॉइंट जब एक ऑब्जेक्ट को देखता है तो उसे सेंसरी एक्सपीरियंसेस होते हैं दो सेंसरी एक्सपीरियंसेस बिकम हिज इमोशन देन दो इमोशन बिकम हिज मेमरी एंड वेन ही इज सिटिंग अलोन ही थिंक्स अबाउट दो मेमरीज एंड अगेन द सेम इमोशन एज ही गॉट वाइल लुकिंग एट द ऑब्जेक्ट ही एक्सपीरियंसेज द सेम इमोशन देन ही राइट्स राउ द पॉइंट and the poem goes to a reader and the same emotion emotions reader gets ye wordsworth was born on april 7 1770 and died on april 23 1850 he was the major uh, major poet for uh, you know the first generation of english romantic poets he was the major major figure and uh, The place of his birth was Cockermouth in the Lake District. That's why he is called also Lake Poet because he lived there with uh, with his friends like Coleridge, Southey. Okay, in 1850 he died in uh, Amberside. In the same region, it was near Lake District. And the important dates of his uh, or years of his life were uh, we can say uh, you know his birth and then. Uh, he visited france this was an important event uh, in his life 1791 he visited france initially he was attracted towards the revolutionary ideas the revolutionary movement but later he was totally disappointed with the revolution because it became more and more conservative in uh, 90 in 1797 beginning of the literary friendship with Coleridge so remember uh, 1791 he visited uh, france and uh, 1797 he met Coleridge and there was after that he they planned for lyrical ballads and it got published anonymously in 1798 and 1798 is also considered the beginning point of uh, romanticism as we all know the ballad is considered the uh it is the most famous document of literary criticism in english literature and the second edition so first about first edition you can remember that it was anonymous okay names were not mentioned there and this in the second edition it appeared in 1800 with a preface by wordsworth himself and where he explained his poetic theory where he wrote the famous definitions of poetry what should be the matter of poetry according to william wordsworth he tells about uh, poetry that poetry should deal with two three things it should deal with everyday situation and incidents second it should deal with ordinary people and they are humble especially he wanted to talk about humble rural people and homely uh, very simple objects he called uh objects called by their ordinary names he wanted and his theory tells that men are better when closer to the nature you can note down this this line is related to words words men are better when closer to the nature he wanted to uh go far from the artificiality of life and artificiality of civilization he tells that what he wanted to talk about the poet's imagination Everyday life should be transfigured by the poet's imagination whose function is that of conferring a new splendor on external ordinary things so far as to make them more attractive and interesting 
सो वट ही सेंग अबाउट इमेजिनेशन इमेजिनेशन के बारे में क्या कह रहे हैं वो वो कह रहे हैं कि इमेजिनेशन का जो फंक्शन है वो क्या है कि एक नया स्प्लेंडर उस चीज में आ जाना चाहिए ऑर्डिनरी थिंग्स में जो भी एक ऑर्डिनरी थिंग्स लाइक वर्ड वर्ड इज सिटिंग समवेयर एंड इज लुकिंग एट डेफिटिल आई लिव इन हिल्स एंड आई सी डेफिटिल्स पोएट्री was to throw over the incidents and situations of common life a certain coloring of imagination okay he wanted ordinary things should be presented to the mind in an unusual way that that was his uh, theory of poetry now he talks about the language of poetry what should be the language of poetry so he tells that the language should be familiar very simple and that of ordinary people and here he has uh, some you know differences uh, with coleridge